Looks like Canada's finance minister wants to stay right where he is. Jim Flaherty says his health is fine and he'll like to continue with the job until the country's books are back in black. But as for running again in the next general election, he says we will have to wait and see. Quite the politician, isn't he? Brigitte Pellerin, <laughs> live with us from Ottawa. I hear you giggling there. Oh, yes. Good morning, Karen. <laughs> this is the time of year for year-end interviews. I know my colleague Jessica Murphy is also interviewing another big politician, so we'll have more to tell you about this a bit later. She's uh, interviewing him today. So despite the big winter storm in Ottawa, she's managing to make that happen. Yes, uh, we had the Prime Minister talking to TVA. We had and, and then uh, Jim Flaherty talking to our own David Aiken. And a long, wide-ranging interview, of course, in the topic of his own political future, of course, came up. And uh, he did say that, you know, I'm not going to make plans for post-2015, which is the expected date of the next general election. Uh, but I want to stay right where I am until the country's books are in the black. Take a listen. Yeah, I intend to see it through. Our plan in, in 2009 in that big budget um, was to get back to balanced budget in the medium term. We're on track to do that. And I very much do want to see it through to the end. Nice smile. I only wish that he meant what he said, because here is my little take on, and to be perhaps a bit contrarian, I know a lot of our viewers do uh, think very highly of Jim Flaherty. I am not among those. I do think that those books ought to have been balanced, balanced a long time ago, Karen. In fact, this was promised to us a year and a half ago to have balanced budgets by 2014-15. This has been pushed back by two years now, and there's no reasonable expectation that even this is going to happen. At the moment, we have a public debt that is at the federal level alone, that's not even counting municipalities and provinces, that is in excess of $600 billion every single day, a year we spend by and large about $30 billion in interest on the debt. That is, by the way, larger by a long shot than what we spend on the entire military. And I do think that at some point, if the Conservatives really want to be serious about getting the votes of fiscal Conservatives mm -hmm. out there, they are going to have to be serious about that. Brigitte, here's a question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it sort of simmer for our next chat. Mm -hmm. What should be his New Year's resolution? Okay, so think about it mm -hmm. and let's talk. I next. have an answer right away if you want it. Let's spend less. It spend less. What they're doing about spending too much, we've seen in the last, and this is uh, David Aiken saying, in the, since they took office, expenses, expenditures have, go, have grown, sorry, by 37 percent. The revenues from the government have grown from only 10 percent. Over the last seven budgets, five of those have been in deficit. Spend less. This is the only resolution you should have for next year. Well, it sounds simple. We'll see mm -hmm. if they can uh, stick to it. Brigitte, thank, thank you. you. We'll check back with you later.